Hello friends, this video on fractions and decimals part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on whatever we have learned about division on fractions, let us quick division of fractions. Let us quickly look at some of the questions. Question number one, find five divided by three, four by seven. So first of all, we will convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. So 7 into 3 plus 4, that is 21. 7 into 3 is 21 plus 4, that is 25. So this is 25 by 7. So which is the divisor? 25 by 7 is divisor. So we multiply it with reciprocal of divisor, that is 7 by 25. 5 into 7 is 35. 1 into 25 is 25. So this is 35 by 25. Let us reduce it to its lowest form. So for reduction, we will first have to see the common factors. So the factors of 25 are 1, 5, 25. Factors of 35 are 1, 5, 7 and 35. So which is the highest common factor? It is 5. So let us divide the numerator and the denominator by 5. So 35 divided by 5 by 25 divided by 5. So this is 7 and this is 5. So the answer would be 7 by 5. Question number 2. Find the reciprocal of each of the following fractions. Classify the reciprocals as proper fraction, improper fraction and whole numbers. So what would be, re finding reciprocal is very simple. Just swap the numerator and the denominator. So reciprocal of 3 by 7 would be 7 by 3. Reciprocal of 12 by 7 would be 7 by 12. Reciprocal of 1 by 11 would be 11 by 1, that is 11. Now which is a proper fraction? Wherever the numerator is lesser than the denominator. Out of these three, where do you see the numerator is lesser than denominator? Here. So this is a proper fraction. Which is an improper fraction? Definitely this one. Because the uh, numerator is 7 which is greater than the denominator that is 3. And this is a whole number because 11 is a whole number. It is a number that falls between 0 and infinity. The whole numbers start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. So 11 is a whole number. Question number 3. Find 4 1 by 3 divided by 3. So here also first of all we will convert this into improper fraction 4 into 3 plus 1. So 4 into 3 is 12 plus 1 is 13 divided by 3 divided by 3. So here the divisor is 3. So we can write it as 13 by 3 multiplied by 1 by 3. So now let's multiply the numerators. It is 13. Let's multiply the denominators. That's 3 into 3 which is 9. So the result is 13 by 9. Question number 4. Find 3 1 by 5 divided by 1 2 by 3. So again let us try to convert them into improper fractions. So here 5 into 3 15 plus 1 that is 16 by 5 divided by 3 into 1 that is 3 plus 2 that is 5 divided by 3. So here which is the divisor? So 5 by 3 is the divisor so we can say 16 by 5 multiplied by 3 by 5. Now let's multiply it normally that is 16 into 3 is 48 and 5 into 5 is 25. So 48 by 25. In case you want to convert it into mixed fraction, you can even do that. Multiply, I mean divide 48 by 25. So you get 25, once a 25. So the remainder is 23. Therefore 48 by 25 can be written as 123 by 25. So with this, I think you have understood how do we perform division on fractions. Now see multiplication or division on fractions are not complicated things. These are very basic simple things. It is just that you need to do them step by step and try to practice more and more questions so that you know you get a hold of it. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.